does democracy mean to you? I mean, democracy is supposed to mean the, the ability to make choices, the ability to participate in the decision-making process, and decision-making processes that affect how I live my life. And so, and, and being able to participate in the way we're governed, being able to participate in the way we're educated, being able to participate in the way that we eat. And is that a, a through line in this story? I, I feel like the Wu-Tang story and their rise to success is in part well, you know, I feel like there are a lot of people who love Wu-Tang, and the, the music, there's something very universal about it, and the sound is so interesting and catchy, but I always wondered if people understood what they were saying in the music. So often people divorce lyrics and focus just on the music, on the beats. So the film that, I, that I've made looks at the environment and the climate from which they were born, because to me, hip-hop is a reflection of and a reaction to the environment and the climate that the artists are coming from. So I wanted to be able to make a film that dealt with the socio-political um, things that they faced as young black men, how they evolved as men, as black men, as businessmen, and as artists, and how what they experienced in their youth affected who they would become and how they addressed the moves and decisions that they made in their lives. That's really cool. The, the Wu-Tang style of music has always been kind of cinematic on its own, but it also has kind of that, that uh, emotional depth that you're talking about that a, a neorealist film would have, or, you know, paralleling the, the cinema about um, um, marginalized voices. So what... Um, how, how do you want this to fit into the sphere of film and TV, or what do you, what do you want to see in 2019 for, for cinema? Well, I think the music is an important part of the film, but to me it's all the other things that really matters, you know? Because I think, again, it's easy to love Wu-Tang. It's easy to be into it and listen to the beats and go jogging and listen to it. But to really appreciate where they're coming from is to appreciate and understand where they came from. And that was my goal with this film, you know, to, to bring people to where they came from and to give you a sense of what they overcame to be, you know, what they over, to give you a sense of what they overcame to get to the place that they are now. You want to challenge audiences to inhabit the... the well, I don't know if it's a challenge. I think it's more of an invitation. Okay. I never like to challenge. I like to represent my culture on a level as a native and someone who understands it. But also I like to invite people in so they can understand where we're coming from. Because I think that's a big problem in this country. We don't really... We're all separate. We're not on the same page. Wu-Tang brings people together. And so if I can use a platform like a film to get people together around a group that people are already together on, and I can give you even more insight, maybe that'll help change a lot of the things that we're dealing with in this country. Great. And what, what would you like to see from other young artists or uh, emerging storytellers? Well, you know, I can't speak for everyone else. I can only speak for myself. If I have a platform, who knows how long I'm going to have it and when I'm going to have it again. I feel it's important to say something every time I have a platform. So for me, if I'm making something, there's always got to be a way to address things that we're dealing with, not only as artists, but as human beings. Because what we experience as human beings affects what it is that we make as artists. Great.